Hello everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are working on a tiny home and this house here is actually my own entry to my own shell challenge. I really wanted to try out my own challenge as well because I did tour a lot of your builds already and looked at them on stream and it was so much fun and also I saw so many gorgeous and amazing builds already and I just really wanted to try it out myself because I heard from a lot of you guys that you were struggling with the shell and I just want to check that out for myself, see how it is and yeah, so I have to admit uh, doing a floor plan was quite difficult, <laughs> at least for me. I definitely did struggle with the floor plan um, but I feel like I managed it and uh, well it, it is a bit cramped on the inside I would say but I like how it turned out. I think it's a very cute house. So yeah, as I said I already did tour a lot of builds over on my Twitch last week on I think Sunday, Tuesday and Wednesday I did, yes. Uh, and I'm not gonna tour any more builds on Twitch but I will look at all of them uh, this week on my own, like it's Tuesday now, um, yeah. On the weekend probably like yeah so i'm hoping to have the video ready on saturday where i will go through all the different entries and everything i'm hoping for that uh, or i will show you like my top 10 15 builds something like that i'm not quite sure yet it's gonna be so difficult to decide because i've already seen so many gorgeous builds and, and there are definitely more than 10 or 15 <laughs> that i really like so um yeah I, I will have to see how i will manage that uh, but i really want to do a youtube video about it and yeah, so that will go online on, a, I think, maybe, yeah, Saturday, hopefully, if not next Tuesday. And yeah, also, thank you for everybody who entered my shell challenge. There were over 300 entries and I'm still just super overwhelmed by that. Like, there were so many entries and I am so sorry that I really, that, that I couldn't tour all of your builds on stream. I really wanted to, but there were just like, <laughs> there were too many people there that wanted to get the build toured and I am so, so sorry about that because that's, yeah, I don't know. I'm a people pleaser. I want to make everyone happy and, and I couldn't and I'm very sad about this, but well, that's, that's how it is. Um... Yeah, I, I sadly can't change that, but I will look at all of them on my own. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, also, uh, I'm, I'm very sorry about the lack of videos recently. <laughs> I just wanted quickly to apologize, but um, I already said that in one of my last videos. I think that I'm doing a bit, uh, like, um, I'm not doing the best mentally these days. And, like, I'm definitely feeling already way better than I did, like, I don't know, two weeks ago. Um, but I still, I don't know, I feel a bit overwhelmed by everything at the moment. And just... I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm just, uh, yeah, therefore I'm just a bit behind with videos and I just, I'm taking it slowly these days, but I'm really hoping to back on be back on track now and upload consistently again because I kind of like to have this schedule in my life. So just a little apologize there. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah. So back to the build. <laughs> or oh, let's talk about the build. So it's for one sim and it is a tiny home so it has 42 tiles. I did add a little patio in the back and also like a little front porch so therefore um, I didn't cap everything within 32 tiles but that's that's fine that's okay <laughs> I think. And I'm building on a 20 by 15 lot in a new crest and also um, it's for one sim, the build. Yeah, the house is for one sim. And um, I don't know if you see this. Uh, yeah, you obviously, you do see this. Uh, the flower box next to the entrance, like to the door on the right where the staircase is. I needed to delete that one before uploading because it sadly wasn't functional like that. And I was so sad about it because I absolutely loved the way it looked there. But it just, my, my sim wouldn't go up the stairs and... I didn't want to move everything around and, and so I just deleted the flower box there and yeah so just that I don't know if you are wondering about those things um, I think I also like I, I did the screenshots before I tested the build so yeah so here you can see the floor plan already <laughs> I'm changing out the door because I figured a one tile door would be a better fit <laughs> for the interior um, yeah, everything is a bit small in here. Like, you can already see that. But it is a very, like, it's a tiny home. So I guess that's how it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so here we have the kitchen. And a little bit, like, 
yeah, you go through the kitchen to go into the uh, living area. And then on the right, there is a big bedroom with also an additional workspace. So the bedroom is actually quite big, which is a bit weird because usually, like, not usually, but yeah. Bedrooms are normally not, not like the biggest rooms in my builds, <laughs> but well, I think that's okay. Um, yeah. So, starting off with the kitchen. <laughs> I'm using Dream Home Decorator Kitchen. I'm using both of them, like for the counters I'm using a different one than for the cabinets, but I kind of like to pair these two together. And the wallpaper that I'm using is from Parenthood. I absolutely love to use this wallpaper. It's just so... I don't know, it's kind of colorful, but not too colorful. And I like the paneling it has like on the bottom and, and it goes so well like with the other parenthood wallpaper, you know? Do you see that? You can see that perfectly here. Yeah, um, so I use that over the whole house like parenthood wallpaper. And yeah, also here I'm just adding some decoration here because I really wanted to like, I want the house to feel like homey and cozy and comfortable. So I also added some post-its there and some aprons and just, yeah, all the little details. And uh, I, I didn't really have like a super big mind like about who lives here, but I was kind of thinking like a student maybe because I they have a very big dedicated stu study area, at least for a tiny home, I would say it's big because it's, it's a normal size desk, <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, the entrance here is quite small. I'm aware of that, uh, but I kind of wanted to drag a wall there between the kitchen and the entrance because it just, I kind of wanted to section that off a tiny bit. I mean, I tried my best there. <laughs> uh, the mirror, however, is sadly not functional. So it's just decorational, but I'm assuming if you would place a wall on the mirror, no, <laughs> a mirror on the wall there and instead of like the stand up mirror, I'm pretty sure it will work, um, so if you want that instead. But now we are working on the living area and I just placed down this couch which is from Nifty Knitting and also the rug is from Tiny Living and those pictures from Tiny Living, the little side table here is also from Tiny Living and some magazines from a Dream Home Decorator. Just a small cozy little living room. Uh, and now we are working on the bedroom. So I also did add a little dining area on the outside but um, I didn't record that because I placed on a chess table at first and when I did the screenshots I was like wait a second I wanted to have a dining area there because they don't have a dining area and yeah you know <laughs> so therefore I changed that out and everything so uh, it's just a simple barbecue with just a table and two chairs so and I think some kind of decoration I'm assuming because that's what I usually do. I place some decoration on the table. Uh, yeah, so that your sims also can eat outside and just like have a proper dining area. I mean, I think mostly I, I would say that the sims would probably like eat in front of the TV on the couch. At least that's what I would definitely do. And I think it's also for sims nice because they do get their front up while watching TV and you know, so yeah. Well, uh, yeah, bedroom here. As you can see, I've added this like work area here with a PC and just some decoration. There's also another additional mirror. So this one works if you like, I don't know, if you just want to keep the one in the entrance as decoration, you can use this one definitely. And of course, I'm adding the hanging plant, my most favorite item. I use it in every build and almost in every single room. But well, yeah. I, I like it and, and I'm still I'm still obsessed with the Blooming's room Blooming Rooms kit. So yeah. Uh, just adding some postcards and I think next we are gonna go to the bathroom. And then we are also finished with the build. So I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover. Thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate that. And if you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. That would also help me out. And you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. You can download the build from my gallery. My ID is SunnySimsyYT. And you can also find the tray files on my Patreon. And both is linked in the description box. So thank you everybody for watching. And I hope I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.